in terms of process, what makes an interactive documentary work is to make sure that you have nailed down your concept before you go out and you shoot it. Um, and to storyboard out your concept like you would in, in some linear films. Um, and in terms of storyboarding, we sort of call it more like, like wireframe it and that includes like, you know, the minutia of like when you enter the home page um, and you, like what are you going to be clicking? What are you going to be seeing? Um, what happens when you click from the home page to like the next series of pages and you really walk through the user experience step by step before you go out and shoot something. I think I think also like <clears throat> that what that the, so the big picture of what that provides is just like in a traditional documentary or traditional narrative you have pacing and an act structure typically in a way that a, a viewer understands and flows through something. Similarly in the interactive you, what you're trying to do is create a sense of flow and that's a sense of sort of like that a person can experience this project throughout it and be entertained and enjoy the process or be shocked and and whatever the, the end goal is, like how is the flow of the experience going to work? And that's why it's so important to define that experience and that flow from the very beginning and, and in many ways more distinctly than you traditionally would with a traditional documentary because so many moving parts are in play at any given time. If you're fundamentally, I think if you're doing it right, you're, you're, you're creating a cross-section between n traditional narrative and a technological or an innovative design that helps tell that story and, and allows the user to interact with that story. Because of that intersection, there's so many moving parts that need to be produced simultaneously throughout and, and interwoven together. And if you're not thinking about how that's all gonna work from the beginning, in this very detailed step-by-step -step user flow, then you will miss something that will break that flow and, and screw up your ability to tell that story in the big picture.